in this season, be that person 100%. Be authentic. Be vulnerable. Be honest. Y'all, that's what got me to this point. Whoever I am in that season, I walk in that. In this season, you've heard me talk about my confidence a lot, my voice a lot. My sadness a lot. I don't feel like myself. That's who I am in this season. I can't hide it. I'm not hiding behind a facade. In this season, I am struggling with self-worth. But I know this season is temporary, baby. When I come out of it, baby, that confidence, that be Simone, that it's going to come back. Who are you in this season? Be that person wholeheartedly, authentically. And whatever you don't like about who you are in this season, change it. Don't walk in it. Are you angry? Are you mad at them? Are you upset with how your life panned out? Are you unforgiving? Have you not forgiven yourself yet? Because you feel like some of this is your fault because of what you allowed, the decisions you made, the choices you made? Are you jealous? Are you envious? In this season, I don't need perfect people. Mm -mm. I don't need perfect people around me. I need honest people. I need honest people. I'd rather you come around me and be your true, honest, authentic self than be around me and you can't see yourself. You can't see that you got a jealous spirit. You can't see that you that you are insecure. I need you to see it, own up to it, and have the heart posture to be willing to change it and not walk in it. I don't need perfect people around me. I need honest people around me. And if you can't see yourself and you can't be honest, truly honest with who you are, I hate my mom. I actually don't forgive my abuser. I actually hate myself. I actually don't love myself. I actually hide behind a facade because I envy your life. I envy that life. I'm jealous. Of, I don't even mind that. I don't even mind that type of truth because it's human. It's human. I don't even mind that you're struggling with something. But what I can't deal with in this season is the facade, the lies, not allowing yourself to see yourself, not not being honest with the things you need to work on and not having a heart posture, a pure enough heart posture to walk and fix it. Man, I, I want people around me that are like, you know what? I'm struggling with this addiction, bruh. You know what? I'm struggling with this. You know what? I actually am jealous of so-and-so. You know what? I actually hate the way I feel because I'm so angry and I'm really trying to work on it. Whoever you are in this season, be honest with that. Be truthful with that. And the parts that you don't like and the parts that aren't godly and the parts that aren't right and the parts that are holding you back, change it. Walk and change it. Don't walk in it. Don't walk in the jealousy. Don't walk in the envy. Don't walk in the anger. It's okay to feel it. Those are human emotions. Don't walk in it. Don't be that person. Don't be an opportunist. Don't be around people because of what they got. And if you are that person, be, you know what? I'm scared. I'm around people because I feel like I can't make it. And the only I can only attach myself to people that are doing something because it could help me and help my career. Okay, cool. We getting somewhere. We get into the honesty in the root, the root of your sickness and that spirit that's on you. We getting somewhere. Okay. Be honest with why you are the way you are, who you are, and, and, and change it. Who are you in this season? Who are you in this season? Who are you? That is the question for this episode. Who are you? Who are you in this season? List the good things, list the bad things, list the dingy things, list the amazing things, list the things you need to change. I know who I am in this season. Braylon Greenfield is a phenomenal friend. She's a phenomenal person. She has a genuine heart. She also, in this season, is working on unforgiveness that's in her heart. I'm working on it. I'm acknowledging it. I'm working on the spirit of comparison. I'm working on it. I'm acknowledging it. I'm working on my heart being tainted, not being paranoid and being mean and being F everybody. I done helped as many people. I done help. You're not finna ride off my coattail. You're not finna. I'm working on it. I know what I need to work on so I don't walk in anger. I don't walk in bitterness. I don't walk in hurt and trauma. I'm working on it. My consistency with God got to get better. 
It's up and down. My spirituality. I'm working on it. Who are you in this season? The good, the bad, the ugly. The bad and the ugly, don't walk in it. Acknowledge it and start to change it and shift it. The good, hold that tight. Hold it tight. The pure heart, hold it tight. Don't change for nobody. Don't change your heart for nobody. Heighten your discernment. Mm -hmm. Set boundaries. Guard your heart. Don't change your heart. Don't change your heart. Don't change it. The good. Hold on to that good. Hold on to that good. Don't let people mess it up. Don't let people take the good away from you. Don't let people take the good away from you. The bad and the ugly, acknowledge it and start to change it. Stop walking in it. And in this season of me changing, growing, trying to let go of things, the the person I used to be, the bad things, get rid of these feelings I've never felt before for certain people, for certain things. Um, In my career, the doubt, the anxiety, the nervousness, things I've never felt before. I'm trying to get rid of that, right? I'm not walking in it. I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm trying again. (laughs) I'm literally trying again. I'm like, okay, we're going to try again. Okay, cool. That didn't work. We're going to try again. That didn't work. We're going to try it again. I'm not going to let it taint me. I'm not going to let it anger me. That love didn't work. I'm going to try it again. I know there's a great man out there. That friendship didn't work. I'm going to try it again. There's billions of, y'all, billions. We talking about millions of people you never met. You think you're the only good person on the earth? You think you're the only pure heart? You think you're the only, mm -mm. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to meet the people that God has for me that I've never met. The friends, the sisters in Christ, the sisters in this industry, the sisters that I'm going to meet that I'm going to come along on my journey that I haven't met. I got so many more years of my journey. If the Lord says the same, hopefully. I can't wait to meet those people. They out there. Let the negative people go and get ready for what's to come when you try again, when you get back up. This time, when I try again, I'm not going to lose because I learned the lesson in my in my past failures. You got to learn the lesson or you're going to keep getting hit. Why don't it work? Because you're not changing. Why is this not working? Why do I keep, why do I keep, why do I keep, why do I keep? Because you keep choosing the same men. Why do I keep, why do I keep, why do I keep? Because you keep allowing the same people, manipulators and abusers and opportunists into your circle because you're a good person. When you change, that outcome with trying again is going to change. This time you're going to have longevity. This time in this season, I've done so many things and it always seems to kind of, not work out the way I envisioned. You know, it's like the longevity of it all. You started this business. Oh my God, you made millions of dollars. Okay, well, Be Simone Beauty had to take take a break. We had to rebrand. That's a million dollar brand, multi-million dollar brand. No, for sure. What amazing podcast. That, That didn't work out. You're doing all these amazing, successful things. The book. Oh, my gosh. We hired the wrong person. Now you look up B. Simone Plagiarist is by my name over something that wasn't my fault or my intent. You do. All, it's also 30,000 copies of that book. Millions of dollars. Success. Helping people. Glory be to God. I've helped people on my journey. But why is there no longevity in the things I'm starting Thank you, God, I still have my name. Thank you, God, I still have my resilience. Let's try this again. Thank you, God. Resilience has never looked this good. I'm going to make it look good every time. I'm going to be honest, vulnerable, and real. I might cry, but I'm going to make it look good. I'm going to show up every time. In this season, choose to change. Choose to heal. Choose to learn. Get the lesson. Get the lesson. Get the lesson. So when you try again this time, more money, more purpose, more fulfillment, longevity. The enemy ain't going to be able to take it this time because you got the lesson. You're not making the same mistakes. I'm not letting the same people in my vicinity. Everybody can't have the same access to me. 